Accessibility is important for so many people to make them feel included within society. They see me rolling. Hi everyone, hope you are all well. Today I'm going to be taking you through how I do a Uninsight review online. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I really hope you'll subscribe and stick around for more videos. So, I am involved with a charity called Uninsight. We run a disabled access review website where disabled users review, share and discover new accessible places that they can visit all over the world. I started getting involved with you instead about two years ago and I am their Dundee ambassador. So I promote them in Dundee and I do a lot of reviews in Dundee and all over the place. I don't think I've ever reviewed anywhere outside Scotland yet because I've not been on holiday for a while but I do hope to do that this year. Reviews are so important for many reasons but people like me who have a disability that prevents them from going somewhere or doing things it can take a lot of planning to go even out for tea with friends or family. You have to research where you want to go, see where like what their, what their, like what your requirements are and see if they fit your requirements. So I always have to check if there's a step outside, uh, if there's a disabled toilet, how much room there is inside the building. A lot of things go into planning just the simplest of events for going out. So, I'm going to take you through how I do a Uninsight review based on visiting a cafe at the weekend. So I filmed a little bit of when I was at that cafe and now I'm going to just sit down and show you how I do the review and what information I include. <laughs> I'm going to be using my laptop but you can do it on any mobile device that you see fit, desktop computers, anything that you use you should be able to write a review on. But I prefer typing it on my laptop and I can see more information on the screen. So I have my GoPro attached to me to try and get a good handle of the screen. I'm also recording the screen whilst I do things and I have this camera. So we'll see if this setup works. So I've logged in already because I don't want anyone to see any of my details. 
and you just this is the home page uh, you have different reviews that have come in someone's obviously been to Nice recently and wrote a few reviews on there there's the Oxford Playhouse there and um, just some information about you inside I'll leave links below so you can see what's going on but you're able to type in like if you're looking for say a hotel um, in Glasgow Glasgow help if I spelled it correctly and find and if it loads properly it comes up with 25 hotels so it's really handy you're able to see uh, what hotels are around some reviews haven't been done already so there might be some hotels out there that aren't on you inside but these are the ones where users have already visited and provided teeth but you're able to uh, so if someone went with an assistance dog you can filter that to find out how accessible it was for that uh, if you're looking for changing place toilets hoist um, the Crown Plaza should come up uh, I'll do off assistive dogs because I reviewed the Crown Plaza and yeah so the Crown Plaza comes up when you type in hoist because that has a hoist I'll do off that now so anyway back to the home page and doing my review so start your review this is what I do first and first it says where was the place that you visited so the cafe that I visited was Lone Park and it was based in Monifeath which is just outside Dundee and then Lone Park Cafe and Farm Now it asks you when you visited this venue. This is because accessibility changes. So if someone did a review last year and that venue took those suggestions into consideration, it took a change by this year. But I visited this month, January, so I will just leave it like that. And the review title, I always find this really hard to think of like you see all my uh, ones that I've done previously here I like to think of something imaginative but sometimes that doesn't work but I'll just maybe put lovely Kate and great touch up because I went with my friend I hadn't seen her this year yet so maybe just leave it as that it's a catchy title I think now the overall rating this is what you think of the place in general and I think one part was quite good so we're going to give it a 4.5 now overall rating description this is just to give a quick brief like explanation of where the place was. It gives you some examples if you're finding it hard to think to something. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just wanna put lovely wheelchair accessible. Taffy offering I'm actually not going to speak it while well, I do it because I'm so slow at typing. So, I just typed that all out. So I just put lovely wheelchair accessible cafe offering delicious 
homemade cakes, breakfast and lunch is also served and tipped with all local source produces. Farm shop selling more locally produced, uh, more locally source produces and beautiful dish for different occasions. So I feel when I'm doing a review, I type way too much. I think I go over the top sometimes, but I like to provide as much information as possible. So that's what I do. That's just the way I do it. Everyone's different. And then I also asked what disability the user had that visited. So I always get so confused because I class myself as a wheelchair user. That's what I say to people. I've always said that. But here it has wheelchair and power chair. So I always have to remember to say power chair. That's always important. And they have assistive dogs for visual impairments, other assistive dogs, sign language, hearing aid, any disability really is here. And then where did you hear about you inside? If you do a review based on my video, can you please write Claire Dundee Ambassador in this section? Just so people know this is where you came from. But I'm just going to leave it because I've done many inside reviews so they know who I am. So, save and next. Right. I do reviews on my phone, I do them on my laptop, I prefer on my laptop. But I always, like if it's a long review, I type it out and then I write it later on the website. So I have already typed all this out. But transport, how would you rate disabled parking and transport? So I put, um, I'll dip my text up just now. I'm not going to read it out. I will leave a link down below if you would like to see the review that I've done, if I can find it there. Yeah. I will leave a link down below for you to read this review yourself because there is a lot of information and I would be so breathless if I read every single piece of this information out and this video might be about an hour long if I did that. So I just copy and paste what I wrote on a Word document and put it onto the website. But basically at one part the tower part was good, there were accessible parking spaces and I was able to get in without any problem. But the tower part was covered in gravel stones which are a nightmare for my wheelchair. So I have typed about that a lot in this review just to make others aware that they might have a problem if they visit themselves. So for transport I try to provide as much information as possible. For Dundee, I know where the buses are, what the taxis are like, things like that. So I'm able to provide information here. But if I visit Glasgow, I don't know what their public transport is like. I usually have my car in Glasgow, so I can only do the torment on parking at that time. So I do try to provide as much information as possible but sometimes that isn't necessarily the case. So here I think I might give them a three. I think I'm going to give them a three for their transport just because the travel was really hard and I do see myself having a problem in certain situations so yeah. That's what I'm going to say there. So access, um, I'll just copy and paste what I did for access. Um, so yeah, I put first of all for this review what it was like to get inside the venue and then I just tend to mention, it's different for every place. So for this place I mentioned space 
in the farm shop. I mentioned the height of the tables in the cafe, uh, the space where you have to queue for the cafe. I mentioned about that. It is a little bit narrow. But obviously, hotels. You had mentioned about the rooms in the hotels. You have restaurants within the hotels. I think the hotel reviews for me are longer than this. Lifts, it gives examples. Where are the lifts? Uh, are there any steps? What was the signage like? Things like that uh, you look for in a review. But um, everywhere is different. So it is different depending on where you're visiting. But for this one, I think I'll give them a 4 out of 5. 4.5 out of 5. The star rating is out of 5. So yeah, I've put 4.5. So the reviews though, transport, access inside, toilets and staff. So that's the order that the you inside review. That's the sections that you get. So on to toilet now. Changing place toilets are a big thing for me. I need a hoist wherever I go. So the toilet is accessible, but it's not accessible for me. So sometimes I find it really hard to illustrate that and to comment on the disabled toilets. But I will put, um, it was a good disabled toilet. I'll put 4.5. And I always mention on the reviews, it's good, but the review did if it had a change in place toilet. You've always thought about that in there. Um, staff. I didn't really write much for staff because, like, even though it was a cafe, we did encounter staff. There was no problems, they were really welcoming, and I didn't really speak to them that much. So I just put that uh, all the staff I interacted with were friendly, welcoming, and helpful. That's all I've put. And I, it's 5 out of 5 because there weren't any problems. I asked you, is there anything else you wish to tell them? Here, I just like to put that the food was nice. Um, I would definitely recommend if you went to visit this place, just little things like that, I just uh, like to mention here. Especially if it's a restaurant, I sometimes say what I had, how tasty it was, things like that. So I do sometimes leave it blank if I can't think of anything, but for this review I did put that the cafe was lovely and everything like that. So that's the main chunk of the review done and you just say save and next. Now this is the most important part I feel, photos. I always like to upload photos with any review. Sometimes I don't do a review for ages because I didn't have a chance to get a photo of the outside of the venue that I was at. Obviously if it's a review in Glasgow, I might never visit that place again. But if it's a review in Dundee and I will be passing it any time, I do wait till I get photos of the outside. I feel they illustrate better what you're trying to say. And if I say in a review, yes there was a step, it was slightly high, see photo for reference. I always do that sort of thing in my reviews. But photos, I would highly recommend you try to put any photos in a review. You get a maximum of six photos per review. But if you have any more, you just have to email them. They leave an email address on the website. You just email and say, can I add these extra photos? So I think I only have six photos that I had for this uh, particular place. So I just dropped the file. So I do have a lot of photos here. But I try to take as many photos as I can and then pick them later on. So the first photo, of course, is going to be the outside of the venue. 
and sometimes I do a tap in to see what this photo is but sometimes I feel it's quite self-explanatory I'm not sure actually if I need it for visual impairment so I've never thought of that before so I'm just going to put entrance to venue entrance to venue so that's the first photo and they usually use that photo as your like cover photo for the review so I always try and get a really good photo of the outside so people are able to see what it looks like um, next it is really hard it's quite busy when I visited so it's hard to get a photo of the cafe there are people in it I feel bad but you kind of need it to show what it looks like okay that's all my photos on there now and it says you can add a video as well I try to do this if I do a vlog so with the Enchanted Forest obviously I did that on my YouTube channel so I try and link that to my Ewan's Day review as well just so it's better to visualise what I'm talking about audio as well I don't know when I would ever use audio but I suppose if you're out and about and you just want to speak about the accessibility of some place that could work so that's me done my review and I'm just going to submit it now and that did sent to you inside they look over it and then they publish it on their website so that's basically how you do a review I really hope you find this video helpful and if you've done a year inside review please leave a comment below on what that review is I love to find lots of different places to visit I really hope you're having a great day don't forget to subscribe if you've not already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy doing reviews yourself and I shall see you later. Bye!